Dying Shoes with Andy Kearney. <clears throat> All right. Um, first, you're going to want to put the shoe on your kid's foot because you're going to have to mark the laces. And you want the foot inside the shoe to uh, make sure you're putting the marks in the right spot. Otherwise, they won't have enough lace. So, for ease of filming, um, I'm not using a kid's foot. Anyway, um, when you first tie it, you're gonna you're gonna know where to make the loop. But these marks are gonna be reference for your kid while they're learning. So use a sharpie, whatever color you want. Um, and then you're also going to make a knot on the other lace about halfway between the end and where the shoe is. So hopefully you can see that, yep. So, here we go. Make an X, drop them down, and then you can either bring this lace through, or Jack does it this way sometimes. Um, so anyway, you make an X, you bring one lace back, and you pull tight, and then you tell them to match up the two marks to make a loop with their right or their left hand, whatever they want to do. So make a loop, and then tell them to grab the knot in front of the knot. So in between the knot and the shoe, that's where they want to grab, just in front of the knot. And they'll make a loop around the loop that they made, still holding on to it, and just tell them to push that knot through and let go of the loop, grab the knot, and then grab the loop with the other hand and pull. Took Jack about four or five times. He learned it in about a day or two, I'd say about two days. Um, but yeah, I made this video for him and asked him to practice while I was at work. I think he practiced maybe two or three times and now he can tie his shoes. So, it gets easier the more times you do it. Good luck.